Here's some more breaking news for you, my friends, hot off the press. In Chicago, one of the biggest cities in Obama land, one of the most corrupt cities, Obama's old stomping ground where his old buddy Rahm Emanuel now holds court as mayor. <clears throat> they have a something you can't call anything but a FEMA-like prison camp that's held 7,000 U.S. citizens with no access to attorneys. Let me go a little bit further on this now. Just uh, saw it in the news today. It just came out. The place is called Homan Square, where Chicago police have disappeared, they call it, 7,000 people. Again, no access to attorneys. They're held captive against their will, illegally for long periods of time. Endless accusations of torture, and who knows what else. What would you call this? I'd call it a FEMA prison camp operating in the middle of one of the largest cities in Obama land, formerly America. This is something like you would have heard happening with Pol Pot back in the 70s or in North Korea's notorious prison camps where people are taken now with no access to attorneys and who knows what goes on there. <clears throat> this once great nation has turned into a festering, wicked cesspool, a lawless cesspool, a place where the Constitution is meaningless to those who are in charge. And it's only going to get worse. This is just the very beginning, my friends, the very beginning of the end. We are in bad, bad, dire straits right now as a nation. And yet the sheeple don't say anything. I'll bet you the people that watch this video that hardly anybody says anything about this, that hardly anybody will even share it because they don't care. They won't care until it's them. You won't care until it's you on the chopping block stuck in some kind of a hidden uh, FEMA-type prison camp with no rights, no lawyers, or nothing, then I wonder what you would think or what you would say. The bottom line is this. There's no hope anymore unless you have hope in Jesus Christ. You have to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to have hope of eternity in heaven. If not, this world's about to fall to pieces and all hell's about to break loose and you will be left here to, for two-thirds of you to die if you're not ready for the imminent harpazo, catching away, rapture, whatever you want to call it. I've got a prayer for you if you've never been saved or you're a backslider. It's in the box, the comments box below the title of the video. You pray that prayer and do those six steps included as soon as possible because, again, no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. And also in that box is my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It'll tell you how to get saved and what to expect A to Z in the tribulation where most of you will be left behind that. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. True Christians, remember, our job are seed planters. We witness, pray, and walk away. That's all we do. After that, God takes control. It's all him and never us. But true Christians, look up. Our different draweth nigh. We fly soon. Let's see how many people actually care and will share this breaking news video.